Hey everybody, I'm finally getting around to making a video on how my grandma makes them squirrel and dumplings. I apologize that it's taken me so long. I've been saying I was going to do it for about five months. It's a real simple recipe and uh, it really is a favorite around my house. But uh, it does take squirrels. So after I got done with the, them mini crossbow videos, I turned them boys loose of mine with a pellet gun. They done a number on the squirrels around here. I don't know how many squirrels that oldest boy of mine shot. But uh, we can honestly say that we no longer have a squirrel problem. That little one, he's not much of a trigger man, but he helps out where we let him. So we're going to jump right into it. This, this is a really simple recipe. It don't take much to get done. I have three squirrels here. I just got them cut in half so that they'll sink in the water. And I, I just filled my, my pot up here about half full. I'm going to put all the squirrels in it. And then we're going to put about, I don't know, a tablespoon of salt in there, a teaspoon. I don't know, wing it. Nothing comes out right if I measure it. We're going to bring this up to a rolling boil. And then we're going to ladle the froth off of it. And then after that, we're going to turn the heat down. And we're going to put the lid on it. And we're just going to let it simmer until the meat gets so tender it'll pick right off the bones. Depending on whether it's, uh, depending on whether you got large or small squirrels it can take anywhere from an hour to three hours once you've uh simmered your squirrel until it'll pick off the bones you're going to strain your stock and then after you strain it you'll measure six cups out put it back in your pot we skip forward just a little bit we got six cups of that stock check that stock out that's where it's at uh, Amanda's over there deboning the squirrel. We're going to add a half stick of butter and a whole jug. This is 16 ounces of this heavy, heavy whipping cream. And we're going to bring that back up to heat while we make the dumplings. Here we go. This is where the magic happens. Let me show you the recipe card. Can you see it? Outstanding. We got two cups of sifted all-purpose flour, four teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, uh, a cup of milk, and then it says four tablespoons of canola oil. Uh, that looks like four tablespoons. Then we're just gonna mix that together. You just mix it up. Just stir it until it makes a dough. There it is. Then I just take enough flour, put over the top of it that I could handle it with my fingers when it comes time. We're ready to go. This is the only part that could be messed up. You have to make sure this comes back to a rolling boil before you put your dumplings in. You got your squirrel meat here all deboned and ready to go. Add that back into your pot. Let it come back up to a boil before you put them dumplings in. Once you get her boiling, you got to get real scientific with this. You just take your dumplings, pinch it a little bit off, and drop it in there. Drop it in there. Just keep going until you got them all done. If you like big dumplings, pinch you off a big glob. If you like little dumplings, pinch you off a little glob. If you want to roll it out and cut them, you could do that. They do fluff up some though. Don't you get all your dumplings in there? A little sticky. You just reduce the heat to a simmer, cover it back up, and let it cook for about 15 minutes. Don't stir it until you let it cook. It hasn't quite been 15 minutes, but they're done, so y'all check this out. You ready? Now you just stir in a little bit of salt and pepper to taste, and you are good to go. All 
right, that, that wraps it up. There it is. Pretty as a picture. I appreciate y'all watching, and uh, we'll catch you next time.